What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to dive into a critical topic for any tech professional. We're going to talk about databases. So databases are at the heart of most modern computing systems, storing the data that powers applications, websites, and businesses. So we're going to discuss what databases are used for, the difference between flat files and databases, database records and how they are stored, and data persistence and availability. So let's get started. First, let's explore the uses of a database. So a database is essentially a structured collection of data that allows users to efficiently store, retrieve, and manage information. And some of the most common tasks performed with a database include the following. So the first one would be creating a database. So this involves defining the structure of the database, including tables, fields, and relationships between the data elements. So for example, in a company's customer management system, you might create a database with tables for customers orders and products and each table will have defined fields like customer name order date or the product price also another task is importing or inputting data so once the database is created data must be input or imported and this can be done manually or automatically by connecting the database to external sources like spreadsheets or other databases so imagine a scenario where customer data is imported from a CRM or customer relationship management system into a central database ensuring all departments have access to the same information. Another task would be querying a database. So a query, this is a way to request specific information from a database. Queries are written in SQL or structured query language or other database languages. So for instance, you might write a query to find all customers who made purchases last month or to list the top selling products in a specific region. And this process of retrieving data is key to making databases useful in decision making and reporting. And then speaking of reporting, we have the ability to generate reports. So once the data is queried, the next step is often to generate reports. So reports allow you to analyze data in a structured format, summarizing the results in an easy to read way. So for example, a sales report could show a breakdown of revenue by month, helping management track business performance over time. So in short, databases are used to create input query and report on data, making them invaluable for storing and using structured information. Now let's compare a flat file to a database. So while both are used to store data, they differ significantly in structure, capabilities, and use cases. So let's talk about a flat file. A flat file, this is a simple file that stores data in plain text, usually separated by delimiters like commas or tabs. And they are often stored as CSV or comma separated value files. In flat files, they are ideal for small data sets or single user applications but are limited in functionality. Then we have the database. So a database, on the other hand, this is a more complex system that allows for multiple tables with relationships, indexes for faster searching, and advanced data management features. Databases are typically managed by database management systems such as MySQL, PostGRE SQL, or Microsoft SQL Server. So let's break this down further by comparing a few key features. And the first one we're going to talk about is called multiple concurrent users. So flat files can generally only be accessed by one user at a time. If multiple users try to open or edit the file simultaneously, it can cause data corruption. Databases, however, they are designed for multiple concurrent users. A database management system handles conflicts and ensures data integrity by using techniques like locking and transactions. The next feature is scalability. So flat files don't scale well as the amount of data grows. Searching or updating a large file can become slow and cumbersome. Databases, in contrast, they are built to handle large data sets and complex queries efficiently, and they offer built-in mechanisms like indexes to quickly locate data, even in massive databases. Another factor is speed. So flat files are relatively slow when it comes to searching or sorting data, as there is no indexing or optimization. Databases are optimized for speed with advanced indexing, caching, and query optimization techniques that make them much faster than flat files. 
And then we have the variety of data. So flat files are limited to simple structured data, and there's no built-in way to handle complex data types or relationships between records. Databases allow you to share a variety of data types from text and numbers to binary data like images or documents. And they also support relationships between different tables, making them far more versatile than flat files. So in summary, flat files are suitable for simple use cases with limited data, while databases are the preferred choice for large multi-user systems requiring fast access and scalability. All right, next let's talk about database records. So a record, this is a single entry in a database table representing an individual item or object. And each record consists of fields, which are attributes or properties of that object. So for example, in a customer database, each record would represent a customer and fields might include the customer's name, email address, phone number, and purchase history. And records in the database are stored in rows with each row containing a unique set of values for the defined fields and the collection of records in a table can then be queried updated or deleted as necessary and managing records efficiently is key to making databases useful for large-scale operations with proper indexing and optimization databases can quickly retrieve and manipulate records even when dealing with millions of entries now, one of the critical aspects of databases is how they store data and ensure data persistence. So data persistence, this refers to the ability to store data in a way that ensures it remains available even after a system restarts or powers off. And this is critical for databases, which often store valuable business information. Most modern databases store data on hard drives or solid state drives, which provide persistent storage. When you create or modify a record in a database, the change is saved to the disk, ensuring that the data remains accessible even after a power outage or a system reboot. In addition to physical storage, many databases also use backups and replication to ensure data integrity. And these systems allow databases to recover quickly in the event of failure, protecting against data loss. And the last important concept we'll cover is data availability. So we're going to talk about cloud versus local storage first. So local databases are hosted on physical servers that reside within an organization's infrastructure. And these systems offer full control over the hardware and data, but come with higher maintenance costs and limited scalability. Cloud databases, on the other hand, they are hosted on remote servers managed by a cloud provider like Amazon Web Service or Microsoft Azure. And, and cloud databases are highly scalable and accessible from anywhere, making them a popular choice for modern applications. Then we have online versus offline online access. So online databases are designed to be accessed over a network or the internet, meaning they require a constant internet connection. And these databases provide real-time access to data from anywhere, but the downside is the dependence on the network connectivity. Offline databases allow users to access and manipulate data without an internet connection. They sync data when the connection is restored, which is useful for mobile apps or remote locations where internet access may be intermittent. So data availability is is a critical factor in database management, ensuring that users can access and interact with their data wherever and whenever they need it. All right, so to wrap this up, databases are an essential part of modern computing, providing structured ways to store, manage, and retrieve data. So we've covered the core uses of a database where we talked about creation, input, querying, and reporting. We talked about the differences between flat files and databases, including scalability, speed, and concurrent access. We talked about how database records are structured and stored. We talked about the importance of data persistence and ensuring long-term storage. And we talked about the impact of data availability, both in terms of cloud versus local storage and online versus offline access. So these concepts are key to understanding how databases work and why they're so important in today's IT environments. Now, with all of that said, let's do some of this check on learning. So the first question is, which of the following is not a common use of a database? Is it creating and storing data? Is it importing and querying data? Is it generating reports or is it printing documents directly from the database? 
And the correct answer is it doesn't print documents directly from the database. So while a database can store data used in generating reports or documents, printing is not typically done directly from the database itself. Databases are more focused on storing, querying, and organizing data. Printing is often handled by separate software using data retrieved from the database. Next question, what is a key advantage of using a database over a flat file for data management? Is it databases are slower but easier to set up than flat files? Is it databases allow multiple concurrent users and provide scalability? Is it flat files support more complex data structures than databases? Or is the databases are limited to a single user in small data sets? And the correct answer is databases allow multiple concurrent users and provide scalability. So databases are designed to handle multiple users accessing and manipulating data simultaneously, and they scale better as data volume grows. Flat files are simpler, but do not support these features, making them less ideal for complex large scale data management. And our final question, which of the following best describes data persistence in the context of a database? Is it the ability to perform queries quickly? Is it the durability of data stored in the database even after the system is powered off? Is it the ability to share data across multiple users in real time? Or is it the use of cloud storage to ensure remote access? And the correct answer is it is the durability of data stored in the database even after the system is powered off. So data persistence refers to the continued storage of data, ensuring it remains intact and accessible even after the system is turned off or restarted. And this is a fundamental feature of databases, distinguishing them from temporary storage mechanisms.